ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Last episode, we just finished Goobro's Fortress and rescued the Star Spirit Eldstar. Oh, hey, look. A crack in the rock. Or in the wall. Manual detonation. Let us see where this pipe will lead us. Okay, it leads us up here. What is. What's over here? It is the FP Plus badge. Which I am not going to put on. Because I don't need it. At the moment, anyway. Alright, since we leveled up, fighting these guys is going to be pointless. I'm not going to give any star points now, I believe. Labor right down this tray. Nope, go away. Is that Cooper? Yep. Nope. Oh, damn it. Not what I wanted to do. Nah, I'm not gonna fight these guys. We're gonna run away! Screw my coins! It's not worth getting into a stupid battle. Nope. 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 Fuck that Goomba. Fuck it with the stick. Fuck it with the big stick. Fuck that ambush. Do 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 Let's go back to Cooper Village real quick. Also, we never got the maple syrup from the Cooper's Fortress, I know, but I don't care. We didn't have room for it anyway. Let's go to the item shop. So, let's see, what do we have? We got three honey syrups, a thunderbolt, four mushrooms. So the total is eight items, I believe. So we have enough for two more this one. Hmm. I doubt Chuck Quizma would be back, so I shouldn't head on. I don't know why I went to the uh, village anyway. <laughs> Ah, oh, my God. So now we can get to that star piece. Ta da! To break the block. <laughs> Stupid spike to go. Oh, nope. You can do that, you're mad. Hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. Huh? What's going on? I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Rear fail. <laughs> he falls into the water. Oh, the little guy climbed back up. I wonder if I have to tattle him again. If I do, it's going to be annoying. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you, this fight will be much different from before. Who is this crazed guy? What a nut. <laughs> Cooper. Shut up! You Mario! Of course you remember me. You can say yes, but it's always funny if you say, nope. What? You don't, you don't remember me? Listen, you, you big luck, my name is Junior Trooper. Remember and tremble. What's with this going on with his foot? After this beating, you'll definitely What is with his foot? Get ready to hurt, my. I'm going to show you a new skill I just picked up. It is called Hiding in My A-Shell. Yeah, check that out. You've never seen anything like it before, have you? That is actually true. Your attacks are useless now. No, my friend, they are not. Because I'm going to use charge. And Cooper's actually going to have to change to Gambario so I can tattle him. Yes, he does two damage, but it doesn't matter. I can block it. Now I got him up to six damage. Let's see how much HP he has got. Tattle. What was his name? Junior Troopa? I don't remember exactly. Just joking, kid. The tree's 15, attack power 2, defense power 1. He looks so adorable hiding in his egg, doesn't he? So cute. Should be snapped to beat him now, I think. Charge again. I'm gonna take him out in one hit, with I just keep using charge. Right. Change member. Cooper. Yep, alright, so... I'm at 8 attack power right now, I'll still make 10. I'm gonna hit him with Cooper just so I can get his health down a bit. Yep, 
Ah, oh, I, I did it too early, so I screwed up. Something like 12. There we go, blocked it that time. So I'm at 12 right now, so... He's got one defense. There, so I need to use charge again. So I'm at 14. Cooper. I'm down 12 HP. Block that again. And let's finish him off. Nope. With a hammer throw, because I didn't show this off in the fortress. Bam! 13 damage. And boom, he got wrecked. We get 20 star points. No sweat. Uh. 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 Oh my god. Well, I, I have to do this. Just to be a dick. Go, my bet. Boom. Uh. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if we. Let's go to Mario's side. That's your trip, but he used to boot us out of the forest near Gumbo Village. He thinks he's pretty tough. As far as I can tell, he goes around picking fights with people who are stronger than he is. Talk about dumb. The zombies are working out and ordering stuff by mail. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be a reference to something. Uh, let's get Cooper back out. I'll probably take off this attack at some point. Mario! And look, it's good old Twink, who got here incredibly fast. Mario, Mario, it's me, Twink. Remember me? Sadly, you can't say no to that. Because Mario does ring to you, remember. I heard you saved the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Cooper Bros. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I like how Bowser said he wasn't worried, yet Twink says he was angry. I knew you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. But enough celebration for now. I come bearing important information for you. Seems that one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Buzzer wrote in his diary someplace called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess braved the dangers of the castle to get you this clue. She went through a fucking secret hallway into a room with no guards. This is not exactly braving danger. If you find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to her highness now. She's so brave, I hope this news helps. Does Cooper say anything? No, damn it, Cooper, why didn't you say anything? Hey, by the way, if you were to go across Dry Dry Desert, you reach Dry Dry Alpha. It's a small town, but they do have a shop and a never, never been there myself. I'd like to do that. Alright, now we are actually going to go to the post office. Because. Hey, another guy's not here. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or for your other partners. You should drop right down there to check and see if you received any mail. Well, oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? Do, wait, Mario? I thought I already read this. Oh no, because I never did. Red and blue game bus. Here you go. Goodbye to You were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong, so... When you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. Red and blue game bus. Cooper! Colorado's wife. Why did, wait, why did another man's wife send Cooper a letter? Cooper, how are you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit. He has a mother? I forgot that. By for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did seem a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. She said that she's going to cook a delicious dinner when you come back, so you have something to look forward to. Oh, yes, if you happen to see my wayward husband, please tell him to come home more often. Take care. Colorado's wife. There are no more letters to read, so we're not reading any more this. Why does the Pope stop us keep our letters, damn it? I don't want my letters. I'm going to them up, throw them in the trash and stuff. Alright, let us check to town news. Flash. Mario, more than a match for the Cooper Bros Fortress. Our hero Mario has vanquished the Cooper Bros who lived in the Great Fortress to the east. The Cooper Bros, a long time underlings of Bowser, had been left to guard one of the kidnapped star spirits. This dead star spirit has returned to Star Haven, all thanks to our hero. Huzzahs for Mario. Okay, who is the toad that fucking wrote that? The train parked at the station at South Town is pretty spiffy, isn't it? It's called K64. Unfortunately, a huge boulder has fallen on track. And the train can't go anywhere. It's not about crying shame. That is actually hinting at where we need to go. Pretty neat. Also... What the... Hey, mister. My dad's opened up his shop. Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. It's a bad shop for badges. Come on, check it out. How dare you? I was actually coming here. It wants the red badges, so take a very close look. Alright. This is first attack for... 
I'll explain these matches. So for an enemy that you are considerably higher than, like for instance, combustion level five, if I get the first attack, it will just kill him automatically. You get no star points. Uh, you get a few coins, I think. Multi bounce. This is similar to power bounce, except you go through all the enemies. And I think you actually go backwards, or you just stop uh, once you finish the last enemy. This is speed and spin. This increases the distance more like than spin dash. Now combining this with uh, dizzy attack is actually really useful, but. I don't really use multi bounce, I pretty much never use first attack. And I actually don't I'm gonna buy these I'm just gonna buy all of these. Actually I can't. Alright, I'm not gonna buy first attack. Do 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 yeah. Also, I didn't show this, I don't think I showed it last time, but this shit was in the way. So we couldn't go this way earlier. I'm gonna, up, I'm gonna learn to be a train conductor. Train conductor is so cool. Station stop while aboard. Yeah, here we have to meet someone that's very helpful in this game. We'll see a lot. My goodness, it's tomorrow. My name is Tasty. I love to cook. If you bring me a green, I'll be happy to fix you one of my energy giving dishes. Would you like me to cook some? Yes. Which ingredient would you like me to use? Honey syrup. Now I should cook with honey syrup. I'll have something special up just for you, honey. It'll be fabulous. Just a moment. Also, I just realized I never used that Thunderbolt where I intended to use it. I intended to use it in that fight with the little Bowser pit machine thing. This piece not too bad here, please. We get a soda. Cures shrinking and poisoning and restores 5 FP. So that's basically the honey syrup is better. Cook another honey syrup. You might as well. She's gonna skip all the what she says now. Another soda. Now this is what happens when she cooks a mushroom. See, no, actually, the shit she does make the mushrooms better. Try la la la. We get this fried shrimp, which were 6 HP and 2 FP. Very useful. Well, yes, I am going to cook everything, so if you feel like it, just go ahead and, why don't you just go ahead and skip this part of the video. So I'm going to sit here and cook everything. Or at least cook most of my stuff. This honey syrup as well. Although I have no idea how she's able, by using the power of a stone, turn syrup into a fucking soda. Doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, soup sodas. Alright, these are the last, my, last two items I'm going to use. And no, I'm not going to go buy it, so shut up, buy more, and come back. I don't do that sort of shit. Alright, that's the last mushroom. Just skipping through all our text as fast as I can, folks. Alright. Oh, I'm actually gonna switch to Gambara real quick, so let me do something I've actually never taken the time to do. She's tasty, by far the greatest cook around. Trust me, my mom's a really great cook. But even she admits that she could learn a thing or two from Tasty. <laughs> tasty will cook for you if you take ingredients to her. Come on, let's ask her. Huh. So that's what he says to her. Mario actually does sometimes have interesting things to say. Anything in this tree? Nope. Alright, what's up with this blue house? It is locked. Okay, yeah. We can... Alright. This is the entrance to... This says private. This is actually the entrance to the top 10 sewers. Let's see. What is over in this direction? Alright, here, oh, here's an interesting fellow. This guy is Chet, yeah, he's Chet Ripper. You do not want to do this, because he will increase one of your stats by decreasing, and at the same time decrease the other, a different one. Alright, here we have the second totem item shop, and this one is actually better, because here, you have the stone cap, so it makes him invulnerable for a while. Dizzy Dial, which makes all enemies dizzy briefly. Thunder Rage, which is basically a thunderbolt, but except it hits all enemies. Tasty Tonic. This is basically the Super Soda we made, so it doesn't restore FP. This is the Vault Shroom, which we saw earlier, and this is a Super Shroom, which restores 10 HP. Actually, no, hold on. I wanted to check. 
It's Thunderbolts. How many coins do I have? 79? I'll have to get more later. Oh, we have all these little kid toads, sort of toads over here. There's toads right here. Now, what have we over here? Some sort of building. That's empty. Does this tree do anything? No, you do not. What's, this, what's in this building? Let's find out. It is a uh, random woman's nice looking home. Okay. Yes, but that sign mentioned the train station, so let's get Bombette out. And we shall go find the train station. I live this set of south, so south we go. Let's do. Oh, oh, wait, what was that? What was that? That was very important. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a bulbar. Well, hello there, my name is Bulbul. I come from flower fields, the wonderful land of flowers. I'd love to spread the wondrous flowers of flower fields all over your land. <laughs> you have flowers, don't you? Of course you do. Who doesn't do that? For that reason, I'll trust us to your care. You get a magical seed. As a flower seed, if it was well cared for, a beautiful flower will bloom. These flowers are delicate. The one with a loving heart can make them bloom in beauty. <clears throat> she said it could get right, because beauty is fragile. But yeah. That is actually important for us in the future. So this little tree... These two pipe. Well, let's see where this pipe goes. This is the playroom. Yeah. All right. This is a little oink farm. Something about the little eggs. Too many mysterious creatures to hatch from eggs. They spook easily and will run away. Hold on. They spook easily and will run away if you approach them. Observe them from out here. They are easy to use teleport. White ones, black ones, silver, silver and gold ones. The world are full of little eggs. Uh, there's something. You, I think if you're gonna go to silver ones, something happens. I can't remember what though. Also, that thing vibrates really creepily. And that egg is just, just awful looking. Ooh, I think that's a rare one. It's a star the one. Star is so mystical. No, oh, I got coins to spend. I can do. I'll just do two for now. I won't waste all my coins. Actually, wait, I wonder if Goombari just says anything. There's also a link, link farm, or the original link, the original link cross coins. Well, it says a playroom here, but I don't see it. Is that a tiger one, or a gold one? It's a tiger little one, look at those stripes. It's, who are you? This toad loves the links. I always see him near the lower form. He keeps an eye on the little links from outside the fence, obviously, he really likes them. Okay! Weird. Hey look, it's a pair of twins. What seems to be the problem? I'm ruined, done for. A huge rock is blocking the train tracks. The creature's castle is up, one of the boulders from the stack, they rolled off and landed here. What bad luck. I can't do something about that boulder, I can't make my run to Mount Rugged. Okay, how about I just do this? And boom. Well, thank you, Mario. The train's back on track. All aboard, the train is inbound for our ride. Are you coming? Yes. And to Mount Rugged we go. Oh, sit tight, folks. Now to park from that ride. Chug a chug, chug a chug, 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 chug. That thing is moving, chugging along fast. <laughs> uh, the train is something I've never gotten tired of in Paper Mario Chapter 2, the mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. Also, what is with that? It's flashing me. Um, 
Although here we do end up meeting an enemy that's really annoying, which we'll see later. Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged. Passengers heading for dry, dry desert or dry, dry on push ship proceed directly over Mount Rugged from this station. That is evil. Things running in a few, but time to go back to Tokyo. Hey, what are you doing here? Dry, dry desert, you'll have to think of where you follow the arrows on the signboards so you don't get lost. So scary creatures around there, so if you're not careful, you'll be hurt in a big way. Things are looking desperate, you better run away really fast. At least I will. If I remember, there's an item we can find here, only here. No, that coin's not it. No, that coin's not it. That coin's not it either, damn it. What am I trying to remember? What do I remember? Ah, oh, there we go. You get an egg, and they go unknown origin, which is always in there when you come back. I saw a creature called a wacka on Mount Rugged. It was extra cute. Hmm. But before I forget, we shall save it. Save completed. Also, look at that water. Looks amazing. Turn in 64 again, anyway. Do, 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 do. So, she mentioned that that one was at Toad Witch is seeing a wacka, and there's a gray block right here. Oh, look at the water vibrate. Right cool. But, as far as I can tell, there's no sign of a wacka. Here we go up. Ah, no, couldn't find it. Where could it be? And bump. Oh, oh, sorry, folks. Very sorry. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. What now? Aren't you Mario? Well, you are the Mario. Hello there. My name is Paracarry. I love letters. Um, I'm normally a letter perfect poser, but I don't have any trouble with the last letter. When you know it, I dropped it on Mount Rogan and now I can't find it. If you have a snowball pond letter in there, right here, we still know, right? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. Let's bust out Gumbari. He's Paracarry, a pair of shipping who delivers letters. He's got some problems. <laughs> it must be nice to have wings. He can fly anywhere. All postmen should have wings. You know, some people say that if you help someone in trouble, good things will happen to you. You know, karma. What? You've never heard that? It's actually f interesting. Actually, I need to uh, get the bar out anyway, so. Oh, look, a little slide with coins on it. Well, let's go down the slide and get them coins. There it. Wee! Some water's from water, she's like, well. Uh, we have ourselves a multi mole. Two of them. These guys are really annoying. Two star coins, nice. We will tell. This is a multi mole. Multi moles are rock throwing moles, big time mischief makers. Max HP 3, attack power 2. Uh, they have kind of obscure faces. They're pretty weak, though. Maybe they wear sunglasses because they have really sensitive eyes, or maybe they're just hit. And whack, like a whack-a-mole. <laughs> Alright, let's just carry two whack-a-moles. I mean, not two moles, not whack-a-moles. Oh no. There we go. There is three. This is where the power pump power jump hit badge really comes in handy. Because you can one shot the walls with it. Sadly, none of our allies can do three damage yet. Oh, damn it, I missed the time. And there goes another mole down. And Gumbario for the finish. Well, two star points is better than one. Okay, a sleepy shape. I really do hate that. So let's break this. There's a block in between. And this is a whack. whack who? I'm whack. I just know that I appreciate people day top my right view. Sunshine, fresh air, so Christian, I can do. He's a wacka. When you hit wackas, they get bumps that fall off. I heard that they're yummy. No, I'm not normally telling the wackas once. I heard they're tasty bumps. I heard they're just a wacka. Now, this guy uh, is actually interesting because he does respond. I believe you can uh, actually end up killing him or just hunt him to extinction. The, the bumps off him to extinction, I think. I don't actually remember, but 
when you get a, a bump off him, it is a 25 HP, 25 FP item. So it's a really good item you can get really early. If you can stock up on that item, is second only to a Jelly Ultra, which we have not come across, and I will explain in the future. So there's a reason I kept Umari out. It is not that. Wait, did it, no, we're just okay. Let's say I didn't think I got that guy dizzy. The dizzy attack. Well, this is probably the, probably the longest time I've had the dizzy attack badge on. I might get rid of this future. Whack a mole. <laughs> Four star points. Ooh, a honey sir, nice. And we got another whack a mole. There's three of them this time, that's a bit annoying. Also, I noticed that their holes don't go away in the middle of battle. Even when they die, their hole still remains. There we go, got it. Just power jump on this fucker. Yeah, we'll just bonk this guy. Bonk. Bonk. And done. And the only time multi moles are really annoying is when there's four, three to four of them. Oh. You wanna go? Bam. Kinky your ass. Hey, look, another three. Boom. And multi mole there. Dash Dizzy Attack is really, really helpful here. Nice. A lot of FP. At least I can use that honey strip now. Hey, 50 star points halfway to another one. Yeah, look. I should have she's fresh, but hey, look, didn't want that. I wanted that. There we go. That is a badge right there, that I mentioned earlier. Well, I believe I mentioned it last episode, I think. Or a different episode, I don't remember what, what I mentioned it. Right here, we don't need power now. It's just two of them. Hey, KO. So I just realized I could have done a refresh right there. But, it's fine. So there's one pair of carrier's letters. How do we get it? I know, we'll use Cooper! A letter to Merlin and Toad Dan. Alright. I feel there's one more enemy in here we need to- yep, there it is. See that rock, ladies and gentlemen? It's an enemy. An enemy that is super annoying. It is a cleft. This is a cleft. Clefts are pretty strong, so you better be careful. Nice HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 2. Your specialties between the rocks, so watch your step on the mountain. Look at her general spice in the hats. You know there's a courage. Courage in the way sometimes. Now, normally the way I fought, or I fought them, was by using the quake, uh, by using Bomb Mats Bomb, but said all you have to do is use Charge, which is probably the reason why I had this on. Then, just hammer them. And dead. And they get three star points. Nice. And plenty of coins. Do, 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 do. There's a little bulb orb right there. Is there? Yes, there is. A Monty Mole right here. A lone Monty Mole. Aw, poor guy. Oh, I'm gonna take his ass out. Alright folks, it's getting close to time now, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and call this episode right here, right next to this rock dude right here. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye folks.